My name is Damir Shagol and I'm a Reuters photojournalist based in Bangkok, in Thailand. Play and shoot much more before you are in situation to shoot important picture. Because if you haven't tried this before, if you don't know this, when the moment happens, the moment is going to go past you and you will be struggling with your camera, with your f-stop, with your exposure and thing will be gone before you realize what you have to do. So you really want to shoot a lot before the real moment comes. The story doesn't start the moment you land in a country. It starts way, way before. You have to know a lot. You have to know almost everything about the places and the story that you will possibly cover in the future. You're not gonna go very far if you're alone in a field, especially if you're in a country that you never visited or visited only once or twice before. You have to go and cover the story in Pakistan or in Afghanistan or in Korea. You want to have friends there. You want to have your fixers, you want to have your translators, you want to have your drivers, you want to have people who might help you if something goes wrong with your equipment. You want to have your own people everywhere, as many people as possible, because you never, never know when you're going to need those people. Once you are in the heart of the story, probably what you want to do first is to know your priorities. You don't want to try to do everything at once. You know your ambition, you know what you're good at, and you will talk to other members of the team, and then you will focus on your particular corner of the story. This is how your report is going to be much, much better. For me, the most important is that you know what your camera is capable of. So you know how to use what you already have. Not to have the latest model that you might not be comfortable with. It might have whatever potential, but you don't know how to use it. So my advice would be to whatever you have, know how to use it. Being with all the other photographers in the field, it's definitely the advantage. Those are many, many pair of very good eyes and very good ears with lots of contacts in their notebooks. And you don't want to spend your nights looking at your pictures that you have produced that day. You want to spend your nights or your evenings with other people, with your colleagues. I enter the scene trying to be as invisible as possible. I'm not going to enter with a camera and start zooming and unzooming, going and up and down. I'm going to enter literally with my hands in the pocket and then pick up my camera and do this one or two clicks. So you don't want to be a photographer who enters somebody's private space trying to capture reality because then it's not reality. Mm -hmm.